What's up, my people? What's up? What's up? What's up? I hope that you're doing amazing. Um, you can see that my hands, they're full of paint. I'm actually, um, I'm painting a room because I'm going to create um, a new advanced tarot reading course that follows on my first one. There's a link for the first one in the bottom. But you know what I like to do just before I get into the reading very, very quickly. Um, if you want to, you can skip ahead because there's timestamps. Um, so you can skip ahead to the time set that you want to do. And what I always recommend that you do with this is you can either choose one, two or three. Um, all three of those clarifying clarifier decks is by one of my favorite, favorite tarot card designers. Um, curious, tarot of curious um, creatures or by Chris Ann. Lightseer's tarot and also the Muse tarot. I love them, I love them, I love them, I love them, I love them. Okay, so. Um, you can either choose one, two, or three, or you can choose, you know, one of these as past, present, and future. So if, for example, you choose them in the sequence, then what are the past influences that has brought you to the present, where you are now, where your power is, and where is that taking you next? So you can choose, you know, you can choose them in that order. Obviously, don't look at the reading first and then choose. First choose and then look at the reading trusting that what you get is the right thing for you to get. So to also let you know with this painting that I'm doing, so I'm moving to a different space in the same house. Um, and, you know, I'm painting the walls, getting everything ready for the recording of the course. And what I actually do, which is something that you might consider, and this doesn't have to be for, you know, for a wall that you're painting. It can be anything else, really. Um, you know, you can even put it like underneath like a book cover or something like that. I normally, you know, um, I'm a Reiki Grandmaster, so I use symbols that I feel are appropriate. I draw them on the walls with like a pencil, you know, put them in there, set a good intention in there, the good energy in there. Not just for me, but for, you know, everybody else who comes there afterwards. And then I paint over it, putting that energy there in the wall. Okay. So... Um, without any further ado, I'm going to get right into this timeless reading. Whenever you see it, it's the right time for you. Um, let's see what we got. All right. So I've, I've pre-drawn a couple of cards for you. And I haven't looked at them yet. So we're going to look at them together. All right. While I'm uh, And I'm quickly doing this while I'm waiting for the paint to dry in between layers. Because it's actually winter here and it's raining and it's cold. Um, so like, like when you talk about watching paint dry... <laughs> <laughs> it's going very very slowly but anyways um all right so angel message for you the angels are saying super super yes they're saying yes 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 so what have you been asking the angels what have you been asking life what have you been wondering about what are you going for you know what are you opening yourself to the angels are saying to you mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Forming a, a, a beautiful, almost like a triangle over there. Speaking of your powerful energy, the entire universe supporting your highest, highest good. Beautiful, beautiful soul of infinite potential. Transformation is taking place for your beautiful transformation. Changes are taking place. Things are going in a good direction for you. Doors are opening for you. Opportunities are coming your way. Career all kinds of success, love, all the things that make your heart smile, beautiful person, beautiful soul of infinite potential. There's beautiful transformation taking place for you where life is working out for your highest good. Since I showed you those decks, let me just show you the ones that I'm using for these. So what do I have? Oh, yes. Okay, so um, it's Angel Answers by Redley Valentine, Sacred Destiny Oracle by Denise Lynn, and what is the other one? Um, the Keepers of the Light by Kyle Gray. All right. Okay, so what do we have by Kyle Gray? Mercury, communication energy, and it says open communication. Um, it says get a weight of your chest, speak up with love and be heard. Is there something that you're not speaking up about? Do you maybe need to clear the air with someone? You know, and this could be both saying to someone that really like you in my space, or I think we need to amicably, you know, part ways. But this is also the communication that you have with the universe, the communication that you have with yourself. How do you speak to yourself when it's just you? All right. When things go wrong in life, when things don't go the way that you'd like them to go, what are the first things that are coming up? What are the first things that you are saying? You know, because those words 
and even when things are going good for you, you know, what are you saying? What is almost like your default communication? Because those words that we speak without thinking, you know, especially, you know, in times when life is just happening and stuff like that, it gives us an indication of what is happening in your deeper mind, in your subconscious mind that is shaping your conscious experience of life. But I see improvement here. I see improvement in health. I see spiritual ascension here for you. I see that the universe is trying to communicate with you. So maybe, you know, have you been seeing recurring signs, recurring numbers? Um, you know, if you had maybe recurring dreams, just a gut feeling that you maybe have, you know, for something that you have to follow. Maybe people are having the same, you know, conversation over and over when you're in the vicinity. Life is trying to tell you something. All right. Let's draw you some tarot and get a... Um, whoopsie. Whoa, 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 whoa. Things are all over the place. Okay, I'm going to take the two cards that fell out for you. And then I'm just going to shuffle and get you some more. So we've got the King of Swords in reverse. We've got the Fool there for you, which is that Uranus energy, which is about change. And sometimes the rebellious energy that goes along, you know, with change. Um, you know, maybe you're seeking a sense of personal independence. What does that mean for you? So, you know what, now, my beautiful, beautiful person? I see that in many ways, especially with that Knight of Swords coming out there in the end as well. It seems like things are a little bit upside down for you, a little bit flippity floppity there for you. And the question to ask in a space like this is, are you really in your light? Or has your problems, your worries, your fears and concerns, have they started to almost like overtake your mind? You know, um, because I do see something like that happening over here. Um, whereas uh, it's, it's almost like there's, there's a new start happening here for your really, really beautiful new start, a really prosperous new start. But just check if you might not maybe be operating from old fear still possibly, all right? At the bottom of the deck, you've got the Seven of Swords. Could you possibly be operating from old fears yet? Are you 100% clear about what you want? You know, and could it maybe be that you, you, you're focusing on the right thing, but maybe you need to go back to the drawing board. You know, sometimes we get very sort of like, um, you know, um, sort of like drawn along with whatever's going on, whereas it might be time for you to maybe pause, you know, to get that clarity about what is it that you want to do and to really be open to the communication that the universe is trying to give you a beautiful person. All right. So that's what I got for you. Hope that that helps. If you are open to a deep exploration of possible, you know, potentials for you, you can always book a personal reading. Details in the description. Number two. Number two, the angels are saying to you a year from now, a year from now, your life is going to look different. Things are going to be different. It's going to be fantastic. I see you having a lot of support. <coughs> <coughs> My apologies. Paint fumes. <laughs> um, so... I see the angels working and creating a beautiful new world for you. And I see something beautiful and new being overlooked, overwatched by your guardians, by your gods, by the, um, you know, by the archangels. A, a beautiful new something is being created here for you. A brand new experience of life. A fulfilling experience of life. Something that really makes your heart smile, my beautiful person. There is something incredible that is being unlocked here for you. I feel some beautiful ancient knowledge has been unlocked, you know. This reminds me almost like when somebody had like a regression hypnosis session with me. It's almost like they unlock all this incredible potential in a year's time. Their life is looking different. The world is really lighting up at the moment. There's this huge solar event that's very close by. And if you want to know more about that, you can watch the um, the material on YouTube of Ishmael Perez. I-S-M-A-E-L. And the last name is Perez. P-E-R-E-Z. -E or P-E-R-E-Z. Alright. He speaks about it quite a lot but there's a lot of changes that are happening here for you potential that you work you know at through many different lifetimes is stepping very powerfully to the forefront here for you beautiful person and look at what this is saying change i mean you can't make this up you know isn't this exciting like you can't make this up you know things are getting easier for you things are getting better for you don't forget the importance of play you know maybe you have stopped playing maybe you've stopped um, opening yourself to the higher good of life, to the beauty of life, to the potential of life. Play, because play is what's aligning you with the light. You know, play is what is raising your vibration, which is keeping it raised. 
And you know, obviously when I say play, I'm not talking about being immature and illogical and those type of things. But you know, every now and then breathe a little bit as human beings and especially as adults, we tend to become incredibly, incredibly serious about life. And then we often end up missing quite a lot of the beauty of life. All right. So don't miss out. Okay. What do we have here from the Keepers of the Light? You have got Lord Shiva, which in actual fact has been visiting me quite a lot in my dream states, deep meditation states. Even when I do like distance healing and stuff for people, Lord Shiva has been coming up quite a lot. And it's about unlocking your highest potential, you know, um, transcendence. And also with that snake over there, it is about um, changes. It's about transformation. It's about unlocking your kundalini energy, your highest life potential. So definitely unlocking a lot of ancient knowledge there within you. And it says, rise up. Honor your inner force. Steps are being given. Dance with the universe. So again, we are speaking about having fun. You know, having fun. It's important to have fun. We often forget about that. And just fun, just enjoying life. New beginning here for you. Something powerful. Something dynamic. And even as I'm saying that, I see double one, double one. It's all about new beginnings. Something powerful. Something dynamic. Something that brings real stability. Real happiness. Real fulfillment is rolling your way. And let me see... What do we have here for clarifying cards from the Light Seer's Tarot? These cards are popping. They are popping, they are popping, they are popping. How incredible. So you got the Seven of Cups, the Eight of Swords. So there's also a systematic thing taking place. You know, so you might be afraid to take risks and to take chances and, you know, maybe playing it safe and saying, well, you know, if I if I never try, then at least I know I'm safe and I, at least I know, I know what I'm dealing with and better the devil that you know and, you know, things like that. But that normally comes from fear. You know, seven of um, cups, eight of swords, and the tree of swords. You are ready for more. You are being released from incredible things that you thought might take very, very long. There's beautiful solutions that are coming about here. And so if you are facing a lot of sort of like, you know, um, upheaval, battles, you know, concerns and things like that, my beautiful people, know that there's amazing solutions that are coming to you easily and effortlessly. Incredible. If you're interested in a deep exploration of your energy and potential possibilities, you can always go ahead and book a personal reading. Details on how to do it is down below in the description. Number three. Number three, the angels are saying to you, big, happy, changes what an awesome message to get from the angels in what areas in your life would you welcome release in what thing you know what areas in your life is it that if you can find a solution here that your heart will just smile that your life will just be better you know that your life will just be beautiful I see that you've got something here happening, you know, or, or I kind of feel more like it happened already. Higher heart opening, timers gland activation, T-Y, T-H-Y-M-U-S, timers gland activation, higher heart opening. And if you don't know what those things are, do yourself a gigantic favor and go look it up. There's a lot of material about that on YouTube. What I always recommend is when you do look at things, do look at three different, you know, reliable sources just to make sure that the information correlates. But there's a lot of amazing amazingness that is coming into your life a lot of the challenges that you are face or you know that you face and that you are facing they are drawing to an end there's a beautiful light coming about you are lighting up in a way that is it is just spiritually sexy it's beautiful okay um abundance your can, can this get any better for your beautiful person? So big happy changes are coming. And those changes are bringing abundance. They're bringing prosperity and success. In what areas in your life are you seeking abundance? Are you opening it to abundance? Would you like abundance? You know, where would you like release? By that light that is lighting up in your heart so beautifully, it's just bringing all of those amazing things. And it brings you the best possible abundance of all, which is inner peace, which is happiness, which is just amazingness. I love it. I love it. I love it. And the keepers of the light is saying, holy amethyst, divine alchemy. And amethyst is this beautiful crystal that is as above, so below, that connects you to the ethers, to the universe, to spirit, to source. You know, so maybe you've been working with amethyst or maybe it's time to start working with it you know you can even keep a piece of amethyst underneath your you know your pillow when you go to sleep it really helps with dream recollection 
You may sometimes find though that if you're very sensitive to energy or very ready to receive a powerful message, amethyst can lead to insomnia. In that case, I say just move it a little bit further away from your bed or speak to the crystal and say to you know speak to the universe, speak to your angels and say yes, I'm very open to receiving divine, you know, um, clarity and abundance. But can you all like chill and take it easy for me? You know what I mean? It says, move beyond current challenges. Focus on what you desire. What do you want? Because it's available to you right now on the wings of angels. And let's see what we've got here for the Muse Tarot for you. What are we clarifying for your beautiful person? I hope that you're doing amazing. I hope that your heart is smiling. Um, there's a couple of cards that came out. And I'm going to take them all. I'm going to show you into one by one. There's five of them. And five is always about new beginnings and numerology. So you've got the four voices, which is the four of swords. So there's stability coming. If your mind has been a little bit all over the place and things have been super challenging and overwhelming, there is beautiful balance coming about. You're definitely going to that next level. Okay, um, Really making a powerful impact in the world. Ace of Voices, Ace of Swords, again a lot of clarity coming here, unlocking your highest potential in life, alright, Spirit is talking to you, Source is talking to you, and that could be like, you know, a voice that you hear in your head, something like that, or just pay attention to what keeps on coming up repeatedly, Three of Emotions, there's a message there for you. No three of cups. Meeting with your soul family, connecting with your soul family. Definitely there is a spiritual sort of like awakening, spiritual next level here coming about. You know, even things like maybe getting communications through portals like mirrors and water. All right. Um, page of inspiration. Page of ones. You know, unlock your magic. Let the world see who you are. There's inspired ideas that are coming and sources sending them to you. And last, we've got number eight here. So infinity. And also this character is holding infinity there with the lion healing, really unlocking with that ancient powerful energy. Your life is about to get better in such incredible profound ways. It's amazingly wonderful, fantastic and so it is. If you are interested in deep exploration of your energy potential, you can always go ahead and book a personal reading. Details on how to do this down below in the description. Thank you for your time, your energy, your love and your light. I will see you next time.